okay hello friends this is yusuf here welcome to another interesting uh, rpg daily video so in this video uh, we are going to authenticate uh, the ibm is for net user profile and password okay so which is nothing but how we can verify whether a user id password is correct or not so this functionality uh, might be required in some uh, business case so we are also going to see uh, the applications where we can use this kind of services so first of all uh, our ibm ai as 400 is offering a built in uh, program which we can use it for uh, validating a user profile and password okay so that particular program is called uh, qsy get ph okay so it, it is something like q says get profile handler okay fine so uh, this particular program will have some other uh, applications uh, but now we are going to make use of this particular program which is existed existing already out of the box and uh, how we can validate user profile and password so it accepts like uh, six parameters which we have given here so the first one is actually the uh, user id then the password Uh, then that is a, a profile handler okay so this first two is actually the input parameter and this handler is output parameter which can be used for some other purposes okay and then the fourth is actually the standard error data structure uh, which will be used to get to know if there are any errors while validating like if the user profile is not found or if the user password the password is not correct and so on okay and then we need to provide the length of the password and also the ccid so for ccid uh, we can use uh, the value 0 so that uh, it will take the system ccid and password length is simply the length of the password okay so we will first see uh, how this particular program uh, is working uh, when i say working how to make use of this program to do the task what we want okay and then we will see an application which means we'll try, i'll i will show you a web service uh, which is created based on this service so that uh, we can create some post Uh, end point and we can validate our user id and password and those things and then at the end of the video at the third step we'll see how this rest service will be used in a practical application okay so here one additional information this error data structure is a predefined uh, you know standard uh, uh, structure given by the uh, ibm i this is how it will look like okay it will have something like uh, bytes provided bytes available and uh, error message id and one reserved column i mean field and then some error message okay so now uh, let's quickly see the code uh, using which how we implemented this one okay so here you can see i have created a program called auth user okay and this is exactly what you have seen just now okay which is uh, i am declaring this external program as a uh, prototype you can see what object you will come to know it is a qc object okay and uh, one thing what i have noticed is uh, uh, i don't know whether it is with respect to my system or not uh, if i provide in a small case uh, it is not recognizing so it is expecting in capital case for the user id so i'm just having a small utility uh, for converting this capital small letter to capital letter okay uh, so this is the input variable what i have so the thing is this auth user i have designed as a a uh, common program which will validate okay it's a wrapper around this particular system program so this auth user program will have four parameters okay uh, first two is for the user id and password and then the third one is actually uh, indicator which will say 0 or 1 uh, based on whether the user is authenticated or not okay and then the fourth one will have the error message or success message if required okay so if you want to call this auth user we'll pass four parameters first two is the input parameter and then the second two will be the output parameter we will see what happened fine so i also have other local variables i'm not going to go too much let me come directly inside so here i am receiving the uh, values and then uh, i'm just trying to see if at all i am having any uh, small uh, letters so i am converting that into capital letter and then i am just getting the length of the password using the length method and here i am calling the program or procedure or api get pryf so get pryf is nothing but our own uh, name which is given okay and then what will happen this will give the um, uh values in the error uh, erds okay so it could be a you no know, pos positive or negative so this field uh, which we call bytes available right 
okay this will have either you no know, zero or some value if it is zero means success if it is some value means uh, there is some error okay then we need to look for the error message in the uh, error message id column so i think it's kind of uh, you, you are thinking everything in your mind right so let's quickly see this in action so what i'm going to do uh, if i compile this in q term so it's compiled okay so i'm just going to execute it so as i said uh, this program will accept four parameters so i say something and uh, four variables okay second third and fourth i'm passing blank so if you come in uh, you can see first i'm doing some uh, capital letter and then finding the length which is four in this case because of the password is uh, four character and then i'm running get profile so what happens is now this bytes available will be having some value okay so initially if you see that bytes available we are initializing that to zero but now it's having some value which means there are some errors so it will come in this error message id field so if you look into this message id what it is okay display message description it say user profile is not found okay and similarly you will be having other messages like uh, password is not correct right or uh, authenticated whatever okay so this is the whole background of, about this particular program okay now what i'm doing uh, since this is a wrapper program right so i wanted to have uh, return a valid uh, you know message so i'm just creating the message so in this case say for example it will come down it will go for this particular uh, switch case because of the error message id matching and the message variable will be having the proper uh, error message okay user profile xyz is not found and then basically we'll just do a return so that uh, and you can see this auth flag uh, it's actually the third parameter which is indicator it will be on or off okay if it is off means uh, failure if it is on it will come on only in this case which is authenticated so now you got some idea how this auth user is working now let me show you uh, how we have converted this into a web service so before i uh, show you the code let me show you the output okay so what we have done is we created one endpoint okay so called api slash v0 slash auth service so this endpoint is actually post method okay and we can pass in the user edit password in terms of json in the request body so that it will go inside and then uh, we'll first parse the json get the user id and password and then we'll call our auth user program to check whether it is success or failure based on that we'll return some json so let me show you so first of all uh, it's a post request okay what will happen if i want to call it with a get request so if i send this right so immediately what you see is actually uh, status 405 method not allowed and in the response it says success false invalid request method okay we are handling this in our program fine what will happen if we make it to post okay now if we send right so it says success is false and the message is content type is not application slash json okay so it's having the validation so now i'm going to the header and i'm setting the content type to application jos json now if i send it says no payload in the post request okay because we have not sent our user id password so now if you go to body okay and i'm going to say raw json and here uh, i'm saying like uh, user abc and say for example i'm not giving password i'm just uh, no passing this value so it says that payload does not have username and password okay because we are having this validation in our program fine so let's do a proper one uh, which is like uh, username xyz comma password is pass okay now it says user profile xyz not found because this time we have a valid user id and password which is which means it is not blank so we are calling the auth service i mean auth program and it's it, it would have written false because there is no user profile right so we are displaying that message so if i give a correct user profile with the wrong password if you see it says uh, password is not correct for the user profile devus and if i give a correct password it says authenticated okay so now we have made this service okay now before we see where we can uh, now make use of the service let me understand how we created the service okay so if you come here 
basically it's simple cj program so if you are following my uh, channel uh, under the web development you might be knowing how to create a cj program as a web service you no know, using our apache http so the same way we are doing it okay so nothing special so only one thing what i wanted to make sure is uh, uh, till now we were using some scriptalized match uh, something like this okay uh, here we will use uh, the program name directly okay but now what i'm doing i want to make sure we are calling you know uh, i want to give a proper endpoint like auth service okay if you see this totally it comes around uh, you know 11 characters we cannot create a program with more than 10 characters right so what i have done i have created the endpoint very specific and i mapped exactly to the program what i want okay so in this way it could be you know uh, it could be looking like a valid endpoint and also like uh, we can make sure that uh, accidentally people are not calling other programs which is in the same library okay so that's that's one tip okay now let's look into the program so program is very 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 straight forward okay so we just have uh, our own methods like uh, write to web and then uh, standard input to get the data and so on so let me quickly explain this so first we are finding the request method and if it is post then we are coming in if it is not post then directly we will will come down and we will say that uh, uh, invalid request method okay so if it is post then we are coming in we are uh, you no know, reading the uh, we are getting the content type and then uh, data okay if the content type is application slash json then we come in if not we will send a response error response okay and if it is json and we see whether do we really have some data or not okay and then we'll do a translation so you might be knowing why we are uh, translating uh, the application slash json data because of the ccd issue which we have seen in last video okay and then once uh, we see that there are some data then we are calling the parse json and authenticate subroutines okay so this routine is very simple Uh, i'm using the yagl for parsing the data uh, simply i'm getting the user id and password and then i'm calling the authenticate uh, procedure so this authenticate procedure is nothing but our auth uh, auth, auth user program okay so which is this one okay uh, with all the four parameters and whatever the value i'm getting i'm just returning it uh, in the corresponding if else statement so it's pretty self explanatory so if you uh, i'll give the link uh, for the source code so that you can just go through it and let me know if you have any doubt okay so now let's go to the third point third point of the video so now since we have built the service where we can use it okay so we can use this as a service if we need to host some kind of uh, web application or a mobile application outside our ibm as 400 but still wanted to access some of the our uh, ibm functionality so say for example we have built one you know a mobile application or a web, web application uh, but uh, we don't want any other person to come in and then use it okay so we want to validate first then we need to give some options so to keep that in mind so there is actually something which i built so now you can see uh, this is a html uh, page which is hosted on our uh, same uh, ibm server okay which is having a simple user id and password now if you try like uh, something that what you will get is actually the, the corresponding message so if i give some xyz and without password he says we are not it doesn't have a password and if i say say for example xyz blah 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 it says user profile is not found so now this particular application is using the service what we have built okay if you look into the source code of this what we are doing is after we get the user id and password from the front end we are actually calling our service uh, with that particular data which we have it here okay and then uh, calling a post method and uh, getting the response and setting the response message into the variable okay so it's actually a very very simple you no know, javascript and html code which will help to enhance our you no know, connectivity and uh, you no know, uh, accessibility to the server so this is what i want to cover so uh, this will be very much useful and it will open up some of the ways to extend our business logic what we have in ibm as founder to the next level and uh, yeah we can create some uh, pretty good web application with this authentication okay so i'm just sharing what i have uh, learned for the past few days so that it could be useful to one of you guys in your project or anywhere okay so yeah so that's pretty much the end of this video i hope you liked it and uh, learned something so as i said 
i will be giving the links for the source code and everything and also if you are new and watching these things for the first time you might not know uh, follow along with me uh, i will also give the link in the description for the other videos like passing json or creating web services from the scratch those things so that uh, it will be easy for it will be useful for you to learn those things okay so that's it uh, thanks for all your support uh, and uh, motivation as as always and uh, see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching